Take the dead horses. We think they were originally refugees from a place called Rez, east of the Grand Canyon. They speak a combination of Rez and a language spoken by travelers who were visiting Rez when the bombs fell. Over time, the two languages blended. I was a translator years ago, but it's hard to keep up with all of the tribal variations. The valley belongs to God, but no. The dead horses live at Dead Horse Point, up the Colorado River. They came here because I asked them to. Before I returned to the fold, I visited them years earlier. I looked much different then, but I left an impression on them. I taught them how to hunt more efficiently, how to maintain their weapons and pre-war equipment. When I returned, they showed their appreciation. The Saros have many skilled hunters among them, but no warriors. They have not had to deal with war or raiders for decades. Even though they can hunt a full-grown Yaowai, they don't know how to deal with the White Legs. That's why we're here. We wear more clothing than them and understand more about technology. But we're still a tribe, a linked family of families. The Boneyard, Phoenix, New Vegas, they're just places, metal and stone. New Canaan dies, but the tribe lives on. When the walls come tumbling down, when you lose everything you have, you always have family. And your family always has tribe.